Yes, uh, Kylo Foxy, thanks for following me. Major. Uh, it sounds like, saying it out loud, it's like major. Like, M-A-J-O-R. It's worse. Mage on a rager. Let me despair. <laughs> sure if I was gonna stream today. I was just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm so tired. But yesterday I installed Farming Simulator and I'm like, yeah, I kind of want to try this. You know, it's on Game Pass. What the hell? Yeah, I look a little quiet. That's maybe better. Let's see how that goes. <coughs> He's a little fox, that's true, either way. Trying to learn how to play Mahjong so I can beat all the Yakuza side quests. Mahjong is cool, but it's also a lot to get your head around for a first time player, for sure. Richie Mahjong. But it's fun. You lay a funny tile, Declan. You decorate the bathroom. <laughs> That would look sick. Tiles, like bathroom tiles that look like mahjong tiles. Do you have to learn kanji for it? No. 
Like, you can, you know, some of the tiles just have a kanji on it, or, you know, but, um, depending on what you're playing it in, it might just say, you know, the English word for what it is. It's just like learning, like, playing cards. It's not like... Yeah. Oh! Ah. How are you doing, Amber? I'm doing pretty good. I've been pretty good. Okay, Declan redeems feed me fishies. But I don't have any fish. I'm out of goldfish. Totally. So. Uh, I have a substitute snack today. <laughs> I got norimaki. Arare, arare. So that's my substitute snack for today. I'm fishless. But these are even fishier than goldfish because they actually taste of the sea. Of the briny deep. <laughs> she is exhibiting fishless behaviors. <laughs> also, hi to Monday and to Plushy. Going grocery shopping later today, and I will purchase the large carton of goldfish like I do. I'm way beyond just buying the bag. I go... I, I just... I just... They're just a good... They're just my favorite basic salt snack. It's a streaming expense at this point. Yeah, you're right. A cartoon larger than an entire fox's body? I don't... What do you mean? What? <laughs> How you farm for fish. <laughs> Fox in the supermarket. Get the broom. <laughs> oh, a carton larger than an entire fox's body. Yeah, that's right. I go to the Price Club, I go to Costco, and I get, I have to wheel out a whole big cart for me. Some heavy machinery, like the heavy machinery that you would use in Farming Simulator 22. Which, I just kind of downloaded on a whim yesterday, because I was like, yeah, I've... Yeah, you know, I don't know, maybe I could get into this, but it's very entrancing and also very boring. It's so it's so boring. You you literally will be just mowing hay. But I don't know. It's uh I'm into it. I like simulator games, I like truck simulator. Um shit like that. This is also a very pretty game, visually. It's got that going for it. I remember the Asda, parentheses Walmart, I used to go to as a kid, had such high ceilings that there would always be a pigeon in the store. Oh yeah, I know that. <laughs> Amber, okay, Amber, it made it French. And then ube.com. Amberube.com. Thanks very much, Emily. For four months. Goodness. Thank you so much. Sorry, I peeked out the mic on that one. Uh, uh, maybe I lowered a little bit. Little touch. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, no, uh, it's just like licensed music, I think. Text to Speech did play. 
Yeah. But it was qu that's why I, I I rushed to pause the music. It's just so quiet. I don't know. I think I think I need to crank it. Crank it up. The volume. Cuz it's so quiet. But anyway. Uh hi hi uh um Ellie. Yeah, crank it. Crank it out. Yeah, okay. I go to streamlabs.com. I log in with Twitch. I start to play the music from the Animal Crossing GameCube. Back at the funny animal farm. <laughs> Hello, Chuba. Oops. <laughs> this is a cat. Yeah, it's got to be louder than that. Hold on. Crank it. Let's try this. this is a cat. That's, not, that's so quiet still. I really turned it up. Let's put it on a hundred percent. This is a cat. It's that's just, what's the difference? Wait, am I doing this right? I'm saving the settings. Right? <laughs> Xbox version? Is it a Master Chief DLC? A Man, you can barely hear that shit still. Okay. Um. Yes, it is the X, it's like on, you know, it's on PC. It's just a PC version. But it's on the Xbox Game Pass, which is how I'm playing it. But there is a Xbox console version, I think, also. A few consoles, as far as I know. Well, uh, I cranked the volume to 100%, and that's how loud the Texas speech was, so. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, let me set message settings. Let me try this. Keep testing. This is a cat. That was audible. Oh no, you're farming some hat. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, well, uh, I don't want to go through and just change all the volumes for all the... Okay, I'll do it real quick, I'll do it real quick. I'll just crank it up. Uh, no, wait, not that one, not that one. Let's see. Okay, good enough. And then this, and then this, text to speech, maximum volume. Let me see how this goes. Test bits. This is a text bit alert. Okay, that's better. Yeah, that's audible, probably, depending on what's going on in the game. Uh, yeah. Oops. Okay, that's enough of that. 
Okay, let's just play the game now. Let's go ahead and just play the game now. The seasons are passing. She's cranking that soldier boy. Okay, let's see here. So, I'm just going to keep going on this game that I started a little while ago. I didn't play much at all. And, uh, I just kind of worked my way around the basics of the gameplay. And, um, how to drive your tractor and how to connect your tractor to other things. And the what order you're supposed to do things for planting and tilling the land and whatever the hell. Are the vehicles licensed John Deere and whatever? Yes, they are. All the vehicles and tools are licensed. Excited for the lobbying minigame. The what? <laughs> lobbying minigame? Like... <laughs> You can really simulate uh, the real gameplay of a Monsanto lawyer. You pay Big Gov to shill for beef. <laughs> no, you guys, it's not like that. It's just like there's uh, there's cute cute plants, and uh, you have a little cottage house, and um, your your plants don't die of horrible disease, and your animals don't die of horrible disease, and you have good internet connection, and it's and it's it's fine, and it's real America. Sure, it takes a while to load, but the map is very huge. I love to die of horrible disease. <laughs> okay, here we are in our little farmhouse. She is salt of the earth, red blooded American farmer. I like to imagine it is a dwarf fortress style simulating a universe from Big Bang. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so... These fields are already planted. Uh, yes, the minimap, the GTA minimap. My mouse is... What's wrong with my mouse? It's really fucking up. Okay. I think if I move too fast, it just goes off screen. Like I'm playing... Because I'm playing windowed. Well, that's unfortunate. I need a second monitor. Anyway... So we look at the field, we can see, owned by me, crop tight, wheat, growth, growing, yield bonus, plus 53%, it's fertilized, it says it needs weeding, but there's like, there's like one weed on like the whole thing. Anyway, so this is all planted and done and ready to go. Uh, and this, these other two fields, I have two fields, or I have three fields total to start. They're all planted and everything. It starts you in the middle of summer, and the only thing that you can plant is wheat or stuff like that. So I can see... We can open up the map like this, and you can see the whole map. So the only plots of land that I own are these three with the blue numbers. But the, this is the whole map. So can you go cannabis in this game? Not yet. I hope, that, I hope there's a mod for that. Uh, so there's various plots of land and stuff all around that are all owned by other people. Presumably, eventually, you can conquer all of them, I guess. Uh, but three fields alone is a lot to manage. So it starts you off with three tractors and some tools, some attachment tools like this. And, um, this, 
And at this point, though, there's nothing really left to do on my own fields for now. It's just kind of letting these grow. And it soon will become winter. So I have these bales I can sell, but I only have a couple of them. Hello, mouse. Oh, I'm trying to look down. Hello. Um, hello. Oh, God. <laughs> What's wrong with the mouse? This is beyond... Uh, can I look down? Uh-huh. So, I can't look <laughs> down. This is a new issue. Hello? Operator? Attack their fields and plant malicious demon flower. Yeah. That's how you... Defeat the other farmers. Well, I can't look down. This is something of a problem. Wait. So, if I move the mouse up here to the top of the screen... And then look down... And then the mouse is down here. So, okay, if you play in windowed mode, you just can't look up or down, I guess. Without it breaking the game. <laughs> okay. Well, that's great. So, I guess I will go ahead and put it into full screen mode so I can continue to play. That's great. I will open up the chat on my phone, and it's thankfully a more slow-paced game, so it's okay if I look away for a time to look down at my phone and read the chat. That's un that's that's not the best. Uh, oh yeah, and you have to exit the game anyway to change any graphics options. You can't change any graphics options in all of these menus while in the game. <laughs> so you have to quit and do that whole long loading again. Hello from phone. Hello, Declan, who's on my phone. Okay. Okay, so now we go to full screen. And uh, back up to the full res. Uh, yeah. Now I probably will have to... We are on the phone. You are in the phone. Cotton. We'll, we'll be growing cotton to supply Plushy. Plushy will be the number one buyer. Um, yeah, I gotta resize this screen. Okay. <clears throat> we try that again. Let's see. Now I'm full screen. I can see the chat on my phone. I can try this again. That's a... Uh, <laughs> not an issue I expected to encounter. If you play full screen, or you play windowed, the mount the mouse will just not even you can't look up or down have these ever been co-op yes uh so there is co-op multiplayer so that you can have like um you you know you got like a minecraft server type of thing going on and your you and your friends can have a farm and you can be doing different things at the same time so, first of all, let's see. Okay, well, I can look up and down now. That's good. Miri, Miri Furies. Hello, welcome to the chat. I'll toss this over here. These aren't enough bales to transport yet. You can sell these. Uh... But, since I don't have anything left to do in my fields right now, I'm going to... Building a nightmare device to generate sheep. <laughs> I can do a contract, which is, you pay someone else, or someone else pays you to do something else on their field. Oh, this is big money, but this must be a giant field. Field 71? That's a lot of money, though. How big is field 71? 
monstrous. Un unimaginably huge. Okay, maybe for the sake of this stream, I will do the next size down. Field 19. Let's, uh, how big is field 19 here? Hi, Doro. How's crops? It's fun. I just started. Gonna start something new at 17, field 17. That's reasonable. That's small. Or field 19. What's 19? Okay, that's a little better. That's a bit bigger. So, baling is very involved, but it, it's fun. You mow the grass, then bale the grass and wrap it to make silage bales. Take the bales to biogas plant 1MW. Use your own equipment or lease equipment for a reward reduced by $99, which isn't that much considering it's almost $8,000. So it's worth it to borrow all these items because each of these tools is like, you know, probably like 20 grand a piece. Come to field 19 in the next 15 minutes for an ass kicking. Oh, Ellie redeemed stretch. I stretch. <sighs> I stretch and I stretch. And she redeemed hydrate. So I will drink some damn water. Wait a minute. Okay. Sorry. I was like, where's my microphone? I can't see it. <clears throat> and Ellie redeemed feed me fishies, but I don't have fishies. So it's today it's redeeming Norimaki Arare rice crackers wrapped in seaweed. Mm. I love the taste of the sea. <clears throat> Just seen they put Fall Guys in prison for the new emotes. <laughs> they literally are all the Fall Guys now. They've been framed for... Uh, oh, I forgot to... You should... Uh, something to be aware of is the game keeps running. Uh, if you don't pause it. And actually, it's late in the day. So I'm just going to go to the next... I'm going to sleep till the next day, and then we can start... Mowing hay, and bailing, and doing that shit. The taste of the sea should be a goldfish tagline. Now, people don't want it to taste like the sea. Thought this was a worm from worms. Sea weed 420. Okay. It's another day. It's not raining. Let's take on this bailing contract. This one. Let's accept borrow items. Okay. So now, uh, something that's cool about this game is you can hit tab. Uh, to cycle through all your vehicles in wh wherever they are. They pump these out, Emily. It's basically FIFA. Yeah, they do these annually, so it's one of those. But I've never played them before, so it's novel to me. Anyway, this is our rented tractor. And these are the tools that we've rented for the job of mowing and bailing, and there are a lot of them. So this is a mower. This is also a mower. This one attaches to the front. This one attaches to the back. This is a wind rower, uh, I think. Is it? Uh, which arranges the grass into rows. Gotta get update the updated roster of crops that were invented this year. Yeah. Sponsored by Mon Monsanto again. This is a baler. This makes round bales, I think. And then this wraps it up to create silage bales, which is basically just a bale, like a hay bale or whatever, that's wrapped in plastic or foil and so that it breaks down inside and it becomes like a fertilizer product. Uh, and these are bale uh, loaders or carriers. It's like a little fork that you can use to lift up bales. Uh, so, first of all, let's take this one. 
Uh, it becomes cow kimchi, yes. Literally. Alright. We'll attach the front mower. Right here. Okay. And then we'll attach the rear mower. Those are forks for big spaghetti. Then we'll attach the rear mower. Right here. Oh, shit. Okay. So it just kind of hangs out back there. So now, I'm going to go to... We're going to go to field 19. So we'll go to the map. We'll look... Here's field 19. We can set destination. Pick a target location. So we'll just send this tractor over there. Like here. So now, there's an AI worker. This is where the game... Uh... Oh. Yeah, I, th so the AI will have a little trouble with navigation sometimes. There's specifically this parking lot? Hold on, I gotta get you out of there. Okay. Specifically getting out of this parking lot? The AI has no fucking idea how to get out of here. So I'll just drive them out of the parking lot. And onto the road. Right here, okay. Now, we'll go to the menu. Set destination right here. Next to field 19. Now the AI worker should probably have an okay time getting over there. Now I can go over to my other tractor. I have... This is one borrowed tractor, and I own three tractors of my own. So I can utilize all of them to get the tools to the destination faster. So we'll get this one on the road. And then we'll set it to drive down to the shop where the tools are. And the AI takes over. And then I'll j take this tractor. Got these tel Tesla self-driving tractors. And I think I have, do I have one more tractor? Yeah, I got one more tractor. Okay, so we'll send both of these over. Who owns three tractors? Wow. I do. I'm playing on starting on the easy difficulty. So it gives you some tools to start with. It gives you a few pl plots of land. There is also a difficulty mode where you can just kind of be on your own. Uh, if you desire. But, I mean, there's a lot going on anyway, so I'm fine just starting with the standard difficulty. So now I'll drive this tractor over myself. Can you go over it to a neighboring farm and trash it? Uh, actually, probably. Yeah. Because once crops are growing, you can't just drive over them. Like, you have to use skinny tires, or I think. And whatever. So you probably could do that. I wonder if that would uh, cause problems. <laughs> AI worker F is blocked by an object. AI worker F is blocked by an object. Okay. That's... Okay. Yeah, I guess they cra they're stuck right there. All right. I can dismiss them. So now this one will pick up... Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so I have enough uh, people here. Or enough tractors to carry the rest of these tools to the site. So I think this is... Pick this one up. Yeah, this is a wind rower. Alright, so now we'll get them out of the parking lot. You do this. You let us watch destruction. Is there a police chase in this game? Yeah. Alright, now let's set them up. Heading to the spot. What, what are you doing? Uh-oh. No, don't unfold it. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. What it unfolds into. The spiral. 
Okay, it's crazy, but uh, let's not do that. Let's un let's fold it back up. <laughs> oh, you must have to manually like detach those by hand. All right. Uh, now we go here. We go to nearby plot 19, and we'll drive them up over here, maybe like across, not in the road. Okay. And that's this here. We're at, this is the field. And now let's send these other tractors on their way. You can build Death Dozer and defeat the police. Can you push the other cars into the pond? There isn't really, like, damage from crashing into things, which I'm kind of grateful for. But you can get, like, knocked over, knocked around and stuff. Like, I was playing last night, and I was transporting stuff in just my flatbed truck, or, like, a pickup truck. And let's attach the front. No, come on. Oh, I have a weight on the front. Oh, no. I need to transport the weights, too. See this on the front? Is a weight. Which you need as a ca counterbalance for the heavy tools in the back. I need to transport those also, so this will take a few trips. Uh, but I won't need the bale loaders until I have bales, so that's okay. We can get started. So... Let's get this one on the road. Open up the menu. You travel over to here. Okay, this one's moving. We'll get this one going. This is the bale wrapper, which wraps them up to make silage bales. This is all words and things that I've learned in the past 24 hours from looking up how to play this game. Starting the game, it was like, use the use this plow thing to plow the fields, to till up the dirt for the next planting. I'm like, yeah, I, I know what that is. Sure. And then then it's shit like uh, just Lots of words and terms and shit that I've never fucking heard at all. Alright, so I think that that's everything. Alright, so this one... The first thing we'll have to do is actually mow the grass. So, which is 19? This, this is 19 right here, I think. Yeah, right here. This is field 19. So, I want to keep the vehicles a little bit further away. Yes, we will have Fortnite later. Uh, I, I can't go too long of a stream today, but I think later I will play Fortnite. All right, we'll drop the wind rower, and then we'll send this tractor back to pick up the um, other tools. Oh, wait a minute. Right here. Okay. I think this one can pick up both of those things anyway, so. I think that's everything that we need at the moment. So we can start mowing. Right here. Do I have an approximate ETA for Fortnite? Uh, I don't know. Um, what time is it? It's one. Who's honking? Oh, you want to get through? <laughs> that's too bad. Anyway. Um... It's so cool that you hop around to each guy. Yeah, at this, is a, at this point, it becomes an RTS. Which is kind of wild. That's not what I expected. Okay, you can pass. There you go. Dickhead. Anyway. I would say maybe 5 o'clock. Before Fortnite. Um, probably like, like 6 or 7 I have to go. So, my time. So, that would be... It's about 1.49 for me now. Just about 2. So, three, four, five, like three hours, I would say. This is America. You wait for farm equipment. You miss your appointment. The ro the whole road and he honks. Yeah, literally, there's like one car on the road. Like, well, there's one other car on the road. You can go around. I know it's a double yellow line.
But you can still go around. No one is gonna fucking see. Anyway, first step is to unfold the mower. So this is a rear, the rear mower hangs off to the side there. So we wanna adjust our positioning a little bit, like this. Like this, yeah, okay. And then we lower the mower, the rear mower. And then we can switch to the front. We'll unfold the front mower. I thought this is a European game. I think it is. I think originally the all the um, dollar, the it's not, it's euros and meters and uh, liters and stuff. I just changed it all to American things for my American brain. But I think this is a Euro game. Okay, now we can turn on the mower. And turn on the rear mower. And we can start mowing. Now we turn around. And we do it again. I know it's reserved for contract work. If you're using least borrowed tools, you can't mow anything outside of the field that you're supposed to be on. Turn around again. DRM tools, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever played in hay? I mean, a little. Going on a hay ride or something. I'm, uh... Um, for sure a, s a city girl. So I don't have a lot of true hay experience. Except for going on a hay ride. It's not all it's cracked up to be? Oh, it's horrible. It feels terrible. Don't let John Deere hear you. Love to lay on top of a bale of hay. I'm a city fox, yeah. Oops, I cut I cut it off too soon. I got a Chivo for mowing hay. You've climbed up a big pile of hay bales to escape an evil turkey? <laughs> that sounds like a hell of a story, Doro. Turkey is a kind of demon. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna 
Excuse me. paying attention. And right, let me just swing around here and get this real quick. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's like a tarp over the grass cutting bits to keep the grass in. That's not quite right. I'm going to have to go back to that. But we've got, almost got the whole thing mowed. And we've got all these big loose piles of grass that need to be dealt with. Alright, let me see here. It's for modesty. Just get this little bit here. Okay, that's it. So now we can go ahead and raise, hold up the mowers and lift them and then the front or the rear one okay and we can put these away for now we can put them over here and just drop them right over here like that and we'll leave a little room so we can actually navigate in between them. Okay, next up is... Wait a minute. There's no... Huh. Oh, so anyway... Meanwhile... Oh, there's no... Okay, this is a different process because we're doing silage. Because usually there's a one machine that dries them off. But I guess if it's silage, you don't want them to dry off. Because it's you want it to break down and uh, whatever. Okay, so uh, sh the shit, the weight. I forgot about the weight. Whatever. I'll just leave the weight here. If I need someone to come back for the weight, I can have them come back for the weight. But for now, let's grab these. The bale loaders. And you can put one on the front and one on the back. The tractor's big tail. That big mower? Yeah. I'm gonna run over the fucking weight. Okay. Okay, now I got the two bale loaders on here. Now I can send them over to the field. Over here is good. Cross the road. Okay. Now, next is the wind rower, which uses the wind to put the grass into rows. I had no idea these machines existed until yesterday, and they're pretty cool. I'm learning so much about farming. Me too. 
no idea about any of it, this shit. Alright, so... First, <coughs> we will... Uh, let me start on the other side of the field for this. Over here. Just a little more straight lines to get started. Okay. So, unfold it. And lower it. And then we'll turn it on. Oh, it puts it in a row off to the side. Let's see. That's what that catch on the side here is for. Now I can, uh, let me go ahead and put these together into one pile. These two lines. Okay. Now they are together in one big pile. And this way you're putting it into these rows, so that way the baler can just come through and drive straight through. Pick it all up. It rotates. Whoa, hang on. I'm going all over. I'm swerving. Can you hear the music at all? Is it too quiet? I can crank it a little bit. Or is it acceptable? It can be heard, but only barely. I'll turn it up a little more than... than just barely. Good background level for ambience. Yeah, I want it to be... you know... Primarily... we're listening to the machine. And... uh... you know... whatever. Amber and the machine. <laughs> Emily, I know that's the truth. Amber, I hope you take it as a high compliment. It is when I say you have some of the most supremely autistic stream content on Twitch. I have to listen. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
The tub and amber are soothing me after a day with my brain melting out of my skull. Sorry about your brain melt. Ex uh, day. Mage. I am. Oh, we've got stats and screens. Look at this. You want to get through? Over there? That's me honking. I'm driving here. All right. I like how you can do, like, a completely vertical, like, Grand Theft Auto 3 view, also. Mecha cockpit type shit. Yeah, there's a lot going on in there. Respect. So now I got it in nice little rows. Urban Yeti view. Get really zoomed the fuck out. <laughs> I'm mowing here. This single job could probably might be the whole stream or most of the stream. <laughs> but uh that seems to be a draw of the game is that it's down tempo. All these folks driving in the country with their white SUV. IDK what an SUV is actually. It is a sports utility vehicle. So it's like, I can carry, I can put my, it's basically a, a vehicle for you to put a kayak on top of. Um, or more likely you have five kids and you put your five children in there. Uh oh. Shoot. SUV is like, it's not a minivan. It's more sporty. It's more like you can get a little, you can drive through a little bit of dirt in it or whatever. 
but mostly it is just large American luxury car is what comes to mind. Like, not a sedan luxury car. They are made for destroying people who ride a bicycle, yeah. That's, that's, that's the truth. American car companies just can't stop making their vehicles uh, drink the macro juice. Wakaru. <laughs> Macro juice, quote of Large modern American cars are just like fucking weapons at this point. It sucks. So is all this work to get hay? Yeah. Or uh hay hay bales that are wrapped up in like a foil or plastic or something. So that they become silage, which I think is used as, like, cow feed or fertilizer. Just broken down fermented uh, grass. Hey. Anyway, that's it for the wind rowing. It is all in rows now. So now we can fold this thing up and leave it over here. There we go. I'm excited to see it. I have seen those machines that wrap it into the funny wrap. Yes. Uh, now, oh, that, that tractor has the baler on it. Yep, so here's the baler. So this is an automatic drop baler. So, here, wait. Yeah, okay. So we'll head over to the field here. And basically, we just drive over the lines that we just made. And this will wrap it up into bales. So the first thing we do is we lower the pickup on the baler, which will lower that part down here, and that will scoop up. And, and we'll just drive forward and turn on the baler. And we'll turn on automatic drop. So now we just drive over here slowly. It's depositing. Oh, these are big bales. Yo, these are huge bales. I haven't made the big round ones yet. 
I've only worked with uh, small square ones or small round ones. So these are very big. These are definitely ones that are much larger than a human being can lift unassisted. And we'll scoop this up here. Macro hay bales. Oh, yeah. There it goes again. It's beeping to let you know it's almost full. There it goes. Drive back a little bit. And then we can drive over so we don't miss any. I wonder if a funny guy could roll the bale by running atop it. Hello, I'm waiting for food. I'm at a restaurant. Hello, Kai. I hope your food is good. Birth the bale. Yeah, it really just kind of deposits it in a certain kind of way. Thought a car alarm was go going off on the street. <laughs> it, sound it just sounds like that, yeah. So you can see the grass going up into the baler. Back it up. There we go. <laughs> oh man, I love vodka sauce. I haven't had that in a minute, actually. I've just been thinking about how I want to make that again sometime. I've never made it myself, actually, but good. Cute little roll. It just rolls out. Yeah. can roll it. <laughs> kind of awkward to turn around here. <coughs> Since you've got like the trailer, it's difficult to just back up straight up. It's easier to navigate by continuing to drive forward. Don't need this right now. What's the warning for? Are you being naughty? Well, it just says letting you know that the bale is about to emerge. That the bale is, is ready to be born into the world. Oh, the contract work reserve warning? <coughs> yeah. It's basically, if you go outside, my contract is only on this field. So if you go even a little bit, a few feet outside of the contract field with the machine on, then it'll be like, you can't do that. It's only for the contract work. But 
you know, even if you're just if the if you know, even if the the tool isn't even working, like you're driving over just the road or whatever. I want to stay in the bail machine for a little longer, though. <laughs> you will be bailed. We're skimming some hail off the transa tra transaction. <laughs> Alright, let me go... I'm gonna come at this next line from this direction. She eats hay during lunch break. Rosie the alien, redeemed feed me fishies. Thank you. They are skimming hay off your transaction, Oomphy. <laughs> Thank you, Rosie, and welcome to the chat. <clears throat> and Cerebro. Hello. How are you doing? Doing quite all right, if you do say so yourself. That's good to hear. That is good to hear. Uh oh, my bail is rolling away on this hill. <laughs> the bales are still green, unripe. Fresh. <laughs> so scoop up this little bit of grass. Young innocent bales. Can't even see where that one went. Okay, it's right here. But anyway, this is the kind that definitely... Uh... 620 kilograms. I... That's a lot, I assume. Un not liftable... On... Uh, at, by average human. So we will need to use the device to lift the bales. Oh shit. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh boy. Okay. Go away little bale. I'm bailing here. Fuck. Is this thing on? There it is. There goes the other bale rolling away. We'll come back for them. Okay, that's everything. Any other little bits of grass to scoop up to make one more bale? Like this? Is 
There's a little bit of grass at the end here. This vehicle to reserve, reserve for contract work? You bastard. Okay, well, I can't get another bail out of it. I don't think I can just uh, turn that off. And we'll lift up the pickup. Because we are no longer picking up grass, and we can put this away for now. Get it off the field. So now it's time to wrap up the bales. Which I have not done before. So that'll be my first time using this tool. Which is right here on this. This is a bale wrapper. So let's go ahead and pick this one up off the side here. This vehicle tool is for contract work. You will regret this. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's see. Uh, unfold bale wrapper. It comes off to the side. Oh, and it's got a little, like a little arm on the side and a little conveyor. Let's look at it. Let me get out and look at it. Okay, so there's an arm on the side, I assume you drive it up this way, and then it goes in here, these little belts, and then there's the wrapping, the wrapping paper, we'll wrap it up like a present. Mage is so hyped for the bale wrapper. Bale wrap yourself? I won't, it, uh, no. Look, see, it says, look, see, it says. <laughs> I know you want to bale wrap yourself, but you can't. You just can't do it. They wrap it for freshness. All right. Um, so do I just drive into it? There's no option to turn it on. You can just turn on automatic drop, which probably will do. Actually, let me just pick this up first. Oh. Whoa. What? <laughs> Whoa! Cool! Alright, I'm gonna move this uphill before I drop it, so it'll be easier to pick up later. Warning, you must resist the urge! So wrapped! Honestly, now I understand why they have to tell you not to bail wrap yourself. Off it goes. That's tight. This thing is such an insanity device to me. Mesmerizing. Try not to get satisfied. Oops, I detached it. I must attach it. No, attach. It. Is it attached? Now it's attached. And then... Okay. Still got the weight on the front. So cool. And like those belts are slowly rolling the bale forward. So that's what those black belts are doing. Underneath. Fucking cool. you got in this thing, you probably wouldn't die or be injured right away. I don't know about that, Mage. I feel like any of these things can and will kill you in instantly.
I think pretty much all of these tools are hell machines for killing all humans. If I was a big stout cylinder, I'd have a blast in this thing. Or stout cylinder. You drove a tractor when you were like eight? Whoa. Started you early. Bug stoat cylinder. Ellie did too. Drove tractor before I drove a car. <laughs> Alright, this one, see, look at that, rolling down the hill. I need to start depositing these uphill. It's a unique challenge of this field, is the hill. So now you got all these round bales that just keep going downhill. These look like a big fresh mozzarella. Big fresh mozzarella cheese. Rolling down that hill. Rolling down that. Uh. Yeah. Hey, I stopped it. Cool. The big mozz. They should have a mini game with roaming bales you have to capture and seal. <laughs> They will be boiled. They will be bale wrapped. Making a mozzarella snowman out of them. <laughs> oh, a little bit of tomato, a little olive oil, a little fresh basil. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Don't need this on screen. Soon they will eat be bailed. Alhamdulillah. Oh, I said that so wrong. Alhamdulillah. No. Um, well, yeah. Forgive me. <laughs> she is hungry. I could eat. What's it like in New York City? <laughs> now there's one more bale hiding over here. Okay. Captured. Instead of ape escape, we got bale escape. Oh man, I want to make bruschetta. I haven't had that in a minute. That's fun and easy to make and fucking delicious. Okay. All the bales have become big mozzarella cheese. So now it's time for the bale holders, carriers, uh, forks. <laughs> yeah, this one. So, these are a little difficult. I would destroy a bruschetta, yeah. Man, I gotta make that again. It's so easy. Get some nice bread, get some nice mozz, get some tomato basil, olive oil, what else? Oregano? Oregano? Okay, so... Here is how this works. Alright. So, you unfold the bale loader. Like so. 
you lower the bail loader, and then you click the right, the left mouse button to do this and wiggle it around like this, and then you pick it up like that. So you proceed with caution. Oh, one and done. All right, let's see if we can get, lift this up a little bit. Angle it back a little bit for moving around. This is the bail wiggler. There is another machine. There's many machines for this process. Naughty children, go in the bail wiggler. All right, now I get this next one. We'll lower it down. Angle it forward and lower it down. Now you gotta be careful because the other one is just loose and it's kind of dragging on the ground, you know? Uh-oh. Nah, that's no good. This is just what you gotta do. Uh-oh. See, the other one's coming off. The other one's coming off the front. I gotta now drive into it a little bit more. Okay. 100 more machines for hay. It's an endless task. Imagining a server of guys, they just tractor each, a tractor each for each task and just go one after the other. Yeah, that's, I guess, what multiplayer is like. There's also a few machines that require, um, here, wait, let me, um, pause. So if you go in he here, you can see help files for how to do... This is some silly music. Next track. It's the silly music again. Anyway. Farm Simulator Esports Team. It's a, that, it does sound kind of sick, yeah. Silly, funny, goofy baby music. Usually, yeah, I would be on board, but that's just a little much for me. Okay. Yeah, okay, like this. Forage harvesters do not have a grain tank. Therefore, a trailer needs to be attached or has to be driven next to the forage harvester by another vehicle. So, this vehicle is harvesting, and it shoots out the tube out here into the other truck. So, that's like, you need two people to do this. So that seems interesting. Uh, yeah. Different processes and different tools. Here's another one. To harvest sugarcane, you need a sugarcane harvester. And you need another truck driving along to catch it. You have to synchronize in the drift, yeah. How do they make these over here? Money, who knows? To feel in that feel with notes, you have to drive forage harvest next to my dump truck. <laughs> oh shit. Did I just Oh no, okay. I thought I closed the game. Let's try to get this bail. Let's get this bail. Oh my god. Oh no. It's vertical? I don't know what to do with that now. I just have to... No! I'm not... I lost my first bail. So, you see the problem. There are other tools that John Deere money, uh... Let's go for this one on the ground already right here.
Let's go. Okay. Lift it up. Okay. Two healthy baby marshmallows. They left the hardest step for last, yeah. So, there are machines. Okay, wait. Also, I need to fold it. So now you fold them in towards each other. So they're a little more... Okay, lift up as high as possible. Yeah, okay. And they're a little tucked in together like that. Now we'll switch to the rear bail loader, and we'll do the same thing backwards. Because, yeah, why not? Fuck it. Peg will make phone calls. Yeah. All right, we got one more over here. Tractor has big naturals. All organic, baby. Oh, let's go. Okay, now they're ready to go. Fully loaded. Herbie fully loaded. Uh, now what is our destination? Uh, let's see, we'll look at the contract. Take the bales to Biogas Plant 1MW. Okay. Where is that? Biogas Plant... I think it's down here. Uh, this? Biomass energy. Is that what it is? Feed and grain. Grain pool. Lime station. Debris crusher. Uh, biomethane station. What's this one? What is this? Does that mean it's the... What does that mean? Contracts. Okay, so that must be where we're going. Which isn't that far, actually. It's right down the road. Which is good, because this will r require multiple trips to carry all those bales. So just head down the road south, then go here. Okay, that's not far. I know where that is. And now, of course, we have to be careful driving. Because there are now... For physics objects uh, hanging out on our tractor. Look both ways. Cradle the marshmallows so, so gently. Hang on, right. Imagining them as Gmod tethered. Yes. Just as shaky. Here's our destination. And this is... This is the spot? No, there's the exclamation point on the map. That is... Gotta be the spot. Planet. Wait. Uh. Huh? Hang on. Uh. Hmm. 
Am I supposed to come up the... They get smack a bit and launch the tractor flying. Uh-oh. Oh, that's too steep an incline. That was scary. Maybe this is the spot. Like up here? Pull in right here. And then lower it. Yes! And there they go! Okay, cool. 69% transported. <laughs> now we head back and pick up more. Thank you for the hay. <laughs> I will turn them into juicy biofuel. Here we are, back at the mozzarella field. Oops. Okay. Uh oh. Gotta try to get them flush with the ground. Yeah. Get this one. Oh, not quite low enough. There it is. Oops. Careful there. Uh. Wait.
Yes. And there are machines that... I can't remember if I just said this before, but there are machines that let you... that are easier than this. This is just... This is the cheapest default tool for loading bales. Round bales. So that's the one that you get for borrowing it for this mission. This contract. Oh, shit. Oh, no! No. Don't you leave me. Stay on there. Nudge it back on there with the other one. There we go. Okay, come on. Right there. They are not giving Amber the best machines. She is going to get sad. Certainly would be easier without this type of having to manually pick them up like this, but I guess it will certainly make me appreciate when I have access to more automated bale loaders. I thought it was... This is totally not what I imagined when I saw the forks. I thought it was for stabbing. Yeah, like you stab through the bale like it's a pitchfork or something. There are similar tools, but not for this task, I guess. Contract on field 19 finished. I don't think I did every bale, but I think it's good enough to uh, finish the contract. Right? It's completed. It's considered complete. So now I hit space to collect. And I collect my... My... Uh, yeah. Now I'm just in my own... The forks are removed. And now my tractors are over here. And all the tools are returned for finishing the contract. <sighs> yeah, so we can see... Where, where my truck is just on the road here, my pickup. Let me drive it back. Actually, I'll just set it... Just to have... The AI drive it back to my house. And now... Yeah, if we look here, 
Now this can just bring us back to the farm. Looks like this is growing a little more. This was just dirt when we started the stream. Now it's growing slowly. But uh, wheat, it seems, takes a long time to grow. If we look at the schedule here. Wheat is planted in September, October, but it doesn't get harvested in orange until July and August. So almost an entire year. So until that time, I'll have to do just contracts for other farms. Um, most stuff gets planted early in the year, in the spring. And harvested in the summer and fall. Um, yeah. Except for trees and grass and oilseed radish. But even that can't be planted. Nothing can be planted in December or January. But, yeah, this is growing slowly but surely. And eventually I will make use of this thing to harvest all that wheat. But for now, we have time for another contract. So let's go here and see what we can do. We, can do we did baling. We've seen baling. Let's do something different. Let's fertilize a field. That's definitely a little more straightforward. So this one is, they're kind of the same amount of reward almost. This one is a few dollars more. And I think I have, let's see, fill the tool with solid fertilizer. So I think I have a, let me see here. Uh, let me go back to the farm and see, do I have a, a fertilizer? spreader I have a few things that I own these are a few tools that I own because it starts you off with a few and I bought a couple just for wheat farming which is really like the only thing I could plant for now and oh hey there's my pickup truck arriving thanks to the <laughs> AI um, yeah that's none of this I don't have a fertilizer spreader, although it would probably be, be a good idea to purchase one, honestly. All right, let me go back to the this tractor, and I'm going to send it back here, drive it up here, and then go to my other tractors and send them back home as well. I'll send them over here, maybe like... Here. And this one, send it back over here. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, like here is good. I'm not doing anything on either of those fields. So now, RTS, all my RTS units are going. Um, so let me see. Actually, I'm going to stop one of these. Who's closest to the store? Here. Okay. Wait. This is the store. So I'm just going to take over this one and drive up and look at fertilizer spreaders. Oh, yeah. And here's that weight that I left here. I need to pick that up. There we go. And let's get out and look over here. RTS on. <laughs> so we want fertilizer spreader. Here, that's under tools. Fertilizer spreader. Um, am I, my brain is just, am I just, here it is. Fertilizer spreaders. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this one is very small and manageable, but it can only do organic fertilizer. This one is huge, but it can do fertilizer and lime, so it's multi-purpose. Um, 
but it's definitely more a lot more money and I only have you know this much <sighs> maybe I just lease it for now right hmm Because you can also lease these tools for a short time. Because... Yeah, maybe I'll do that instead. So let's go ahead and... Start this contract. Accept contract. You know, I could accept both of them. And just run both at the same time. Borrow items. For Jimmy Caldwell. Here they go. I think you need to provide your own fertilizer, though, which is kind of expensive. Does this go on the back? Yeah, it goes on the back. I think. Yeah. This goes on the back. And pick up the weight to... For the front. That's a big weight. It's a huge weight. Jesus. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's empty, so we need to buy our own fertilizer, too, for this. Which is not cheap. There are ways to produce your own fertilizer, but it takes a while. Oh my god, that's so expensive. That's more than the money we'll make back doing this. That, that is more than the money we'll make back doing this. Because, uh, like, you can produce your own, but that requires having all this other equipment and stuff. There's also used vehicle sales that you can find. Uh, harvester header. Uh, huh. This is a cedar, seed planter, a slurry container. It's used as an interim storage for slurry. You can fill it from other slurry tanks. That's an animal product, and I don't have animal product yet. Tippers and trailers used to transport different crop types. I don't need that. The weight is just for counterbalance big device? Yes. That's, that's the purpose of the weight. When you have a heavy tool on the back. You like my model's foxy teethies? Thank you. Not that you're biased towards foxes, I can imagine. Um, yeah. So I guess I'll just buy this fertilizer and do it anyway, so I have something to do, but I will lose money on it. But, whatever. It's not a lot. I'll, I'll break even. And that's just one. Wait. One is free. Actually, look at that. Right? No, it's actually still just a thousand something. Whatever, I don't care. Fuck it. Peggle, make phone calls. We jump in. Then we scoot the tractor a little closer. And then we can fill it up. Okay. Then we can cover it back up. And we're going to head to plot 24 up in the upper right-hand corner. That's not far at all. Yeah. Oh, shit. I turned it on. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Enjoy nature. It's now November. Soon it will be winter, and for winter, you have to... 
have like snowplow and stuff and like uh, road salters. keep getting flashes of this being GTA Online and some 10-year-old sprinting at me to kill me like it's a deathmatch mode. <laughs> keep going this way. Wait, is that the best way to get there? Yeah, I think so. Probably. Whatever. Hey, a bowling alley. Wait, can you go there? There's like an icon at the bowling alley. What can you do at the bowling? What is this? Basketball. I guess you can... What is these... These cones? Hold on. They're bowling! It's like bowling pins, and there's a, a ball here. That's what it is. <laughs> what can you do here? Can This is like a selling point. So maybe you can sell something to the bowling alley. You can plant tortilla chips, and then they will grow into nachos for you to sell to the bowling alley. Here's the field that requires fertilization. Right? It's fertilized. Fertilize field 24 with any type of fertilizer. It's fertilized. It's saying... Oh, no, wait. It's only 50% fertilized. Okay. It needs more. Gotcha. So now we can turn this thing on. And it has kind of a widespread. So does that change the percentage of... Now this is 100% fertilized. Okay, this part of the field. There's no visual effect, though. It's a little difficult to tell what you're doing. She is spreading Wi-Fi into the field. <laughs> Fertilizer, more like poop. Well, if you have animals, you can also use that. You can get some manure, and you can use fertilizer. Use it as fertilizer. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. There's no visual effect in real life. You gotta think like a farmer. That's true. Bang. It has a pretty wide swath. Oh yeah, see, it's done. That's it. So, we're done. But actually, so now, there is still fertilizer in here. So what we should do is claim our reward for this one. And then do... Oh, wait a minute. Now we 
the, the <laughs> it's gone. The tractor is gone. And also the fertilizer that we purchased to put in it is gone. So we did lose money on that. Because if I do another one, I'll have to buy fertilizer again, which will cost more money. So you know what? Maybe it is actually time to buy a fertilizer of my very own. Because, like, the, cause, just because fertilizer is so expensive, like, if you do the fertilizer, there's a... This one is a huge, huge trailer that you can also do liming in. And this is so expensive that it makes more sense to lease it because you only need to lime, like, every th few harvests. But regular fertilizer, organic fertilizer or whatever, you can... Not or not organic, organic, but like, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna buy this. You can customize it. Wait, what can you customize? Details. No, you can't customize. This one can you customize? What? Are you... Extension. So, oh, small, big. Oh, you can uh, it really increase capacity on this. Interesting. You can do different wheel brands. The brands you're loyal to. Wide tires. Standard. Spreading discs. Whoa. 6M spreading unit. Or just spreading discs. You can also do a license plate. That's fun. Anyway, no. I'll purchase this one. I think it'll be worth it. And I'll be fertilizing my own fields eventually, you know? You can just lose it all on this, yeah. You have to buy fuel and shit, too? You can, like, soft-like and ruin you ruin your career? Yes, actually. You can. <laughs> so, I'm gonna buy this. Now I have a fertilizer of my very own. Oh, but now I will need to buy fertilizer to fill it. I might as well just fill it all the way. This takes three to fill. But then, now I can just use this... Did I buy it? Did it go through? Yes, I did. But now I can just use this for any job, any fertilizer job that I have, and use it for my own. And I don't have to keep buying fertilizer each time. That will that's gonna lose me money. This is just like Skater XL, literally. It's exactly the same. Let's fill it up. Fill her up. Need to get a little closer to these other, other ones. Fill it up. All the way. Nice. And then we can cover it up. So it doesn't fly out on the road. And now we can accept new fertilizer contract. Accept contract. No need to borrow. We just head to field 61 and do our worst. Down in the bottom left corner. Yeah. All the reviews are just like, damn, the mod community saved this game. Ooh, I, I, I want to know what the mods are like. It definitely seems like, you know, it could use some of that for a lot of things.
Oh, for Skater XL? Absolutely. I... Base game is... Like... Yeah, like I said on when I was playing Skater XL. I cannot play unmodded anymore. It's like night and day. And... It's like... Yeah. Like, I could not... I absolutely would never recommend console Skater XL ever because it is not the same. Just that gravity. That moon gravity. It just feels so counter to what the game is going for otherwise. Like, it, it makes all the all the skate parks that are built based off real skate parks, it makes them seem comedically small because you can just launch over everything so easily. Farm Sim 22 mods that fix the ollie height. <laughs> Dairy. <coughs> dairy and dairy alone. Little bridge. Most farm sim mods are really normal. Found a series of mods surrounding crude oil, though, huh? <coughs> Whoa, those are huge. Okay, then we hang a right. Oops. Okay, this is field sixty one. Oh man, look how far it goes. Oh wow. And I hope I hope that's not messing up the other field there. Look at that. Look how far it goes. Holy crap. This is going to take two passes. Contract on field 61 finished. Now we can collect our reward. <clears throat> and now all that's left is bailing. I guess because it's like it's the end of the season. It's November. There's nothing else to do. So all that is, remains is bailing. Bailing up the hay. So I guess we'll bail again. Alright, I'll just set this vehicle to return. Uh, no. I've gotta go on the map. Set destination and drive home. And then set these to drive over to 
the shop. Greedra, hello. Welcome. Oh, hey, did something happen? Oh, no, okay. Yes. Greedra, welcome to the chat. Set that one driving over to the shop. And set this one to drive over there. Well, actually, I might as well drive this one over because... Um, the other tractor is still on the way back. Oh, shit. I just jumped out. much to think about in here. Look at all this. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and accept a bailing contract. This one, 28 grand. Only a reduced reward of a thousand. But this is a must be massive field. But I don't care. Let's fucking do it. Oh. Whoa. Big. Oh, this is good because then now. Oh, we get to try these big, really huge tools. This is the mower? These are gargantuan. <laughs> I'm excited now to do this because I haven't used any of these before. Wow. This is a massive baler. This is the bale loader. Like a whole big tractor trailer thing. I don't know how the fuck this works. Awesome. I'm excited to do this now. Shit. And this big heavy duty. This is a cute one. This is a cute tractor. I like the yellow. And the little, the little pod is cute. Wow, cool. All right, I'm, I'm hyped to do this, honestly. All right. Um, but I got to go ahead and BRB real quick. And then we'll get back to Leroy Wilson's field. Be right back. One sec. Thank you. 
Okay. Hello again. Found the Pepsi Factory mod. So you can plant Pepsi in the Pepsi fields. Oh my god. Look, I'm, I'm excited to try this shit out. Big. Alright, we got this. I'm wondering if my existing tractors will be able to pull this stuff. Because this seems like a heavy duty one that it gives me de by default here. Well, let's send this one along to field 71. Yeah, look, it's massive. Okay. Let's go ahead and set it over here. Like here. What a device. All right, let's see if we can pull this right here. Yep, we can pull it just fine, looks like. Oh, huh? I did not want to do that. Not yet. It's not time yet. This is the tether. No, look how look how it unfolds. Monstrous. Okay, now we gotta fold it back up. Are there trains in this game? Yes. There are trains. And train stations, and you can load things onto train and take them to somewhere else. I'm gonna fucking take off in this thing, yeah. Alright, let's get this one driving over to the field. Like here, maybe. Next, we get this tractor. This one. Attach. Yeah, this is a another wind rower. Remember the one that we used before had like one of these things. And this has four giant giant blades, whatever. Fan blades, they're kind of like. And send it over here. Or no. Send it over here, like this. Target is unreachable. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. And then... This, we're gonna have to drop off the fertilizer... ...spreader. The Mega Rower. All of these are designed to kill. All of these are hell machine for killing all humans. I mean, legit, these are fucking dangerous things. Alright, let's send this buddy off to the store to pick up more of the tools. And actually, we can... This one is at the... This is the field. Look how big this is. This is the field that we're going to be mowing. Monstrous. Alright. <coughs> this one... We can... I'm just gonna go ahead and, and get this one started mowing with the AI. So we will unfold the mower. Oh, I heard a noise. J Dog, 1981. Thanks for following me. All of your pawns named. <laughs> okay, big mower right here. And let's unfold the front mower. And toggle work mode? What does that mean? Whoa. 
I guess we want both sides open, right? Or... What does that do? What was it to start? I think it was closed. Oh, are, are all of your pawns named? What do you mean? Like the AI workers? They, they're not named. They are just AI worker ABC. Just lower the front mower. Lower the rear mower. Get it mowing. Oh, and turn on the lights too. And start mowing. And then... So now, there's an AI worker in there. So then we can just leave and he'll just keep mowing. And then... This one, we can detach this and send it back to the shop to pick something else up. Right there. And then this one, we can pick up a thing. Pick up the baler. And then there's the baler loader, and that's it. Not quite. <laughs> Thank you for your work farming androids, yeah. Big baler. Monstrous baler. Look at this thing. Okay. Send this one over to this field over here. And... Yeah. This one's going along. This one... Wait. Yeah, this one's driving back to pick up something. And... Yeah, the baler loader. And then that's it. So I don't need to send another one to the store. They're gonna pass each other. Uh-huh. And... Now I'm gonna go here and go to sleep. To make it daytime. Sleep at my, my, uh, little, uh, Norman Rockwell ass house. It's snowing. Oh my. That may complicate things. Oh, it's snowing. Uh, hmm. Well, hmm. Uh oh. I need to do something, right, for this? Uh,. Good evening, AmateurTube.com, says J-Dog. Hello, J-Dog. I hope you are enjoying my stream. Let me pause the game real quick. And uh, read about what you're supposed to do when it starts snowing. Enjoyment. Enjoying. Good. Hello again, Emily. You did not miss Fork Knife. I'm gonna try at around... 5, I guess. Maybe early, maybe earlier. Maybe like 4.30. I'll do that.
Aber aber. So you can salt the roads, but I don't know how much I need to do that. I'm just reading about just wiki page of what do you do with snow? How do you empty tanks of this? I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to worry about mowing for now. <laughs> and uh, otherwise, I think I'll be okay. The mowing is still happening. Yes. Wow, it kind of already just puts it in rows anyway. It comes out the middle. Wait, so what the hell do I need the wind rower for? This mows and rows. Well. It's a huge w wind rower, so it'll be fun to use it anyway, so I'm going to do it. Is this the wind rower? Yeah, it is. Wait, that's right, because before you use the wind rower, since these are going to be dry bales, we need to dry out the snow. So, we need to use a different tool, which is the big wing that was extending out right here. No, hang on. She is rolling. Okay, this is the, yeah, this is the tether, it's called. And it dries the grass by just kind of whipping it around. Now it's fully lowered here, and we just kind of go. And turn it on. Yes, I know, for contractor. Okay, so there. So, it kind of will uh, toss it all around like this. Oh, got him. Need to go in a straight fucking line. Okay. So, this is drying the grass, but it's also just kind of fluffing it up. And anyway, I'll get another AI worker. So now I got two AI workers going on this, and they'll just kind of go behind each other. That's kind of cool. And now I can pick this up <coughs> and get it over to the field. Oh, the snow stopped. Good. It was just some flurries. Just a brief dusting of snow. Her wings. <laughs> I 
Here's the Baylor. But actually, before the Baylor, it will be the Wind Rower. Where's the front? Here's the front. can go through again, behind them, like so, and let's see, unfold this, holy fuck, oh my god, the spread on this thing, that's a fucking dragon. Lower it down. Uh, wow. Okay. Let's go. Amber in her mecha with her AI buddies. <laughs> There goes the choo-choo. Oh, I think they ran into each other over there. They're both blocked by an object. I think they're blocked by each other. The workers don't get names, literally, yeah. Only you are the great American capitalist worthy of a name. It's fucked up. Okay, now I'm running into this fucking tree. Uh-oh. This is actually a problem. I don't think I can get around this tree. I think I have to raise this up to get around the tree. Can you name your AIs? I really don't think you can. I think they are just auto-named. Now what's going on over... Oh! Okay. So this one, wait a minute. Oh, they're stuck. Yeah, okay. All right, I gotta take over for a second. And the mowing just stopped. Okay, there we go. J-Dog, redeemed hydrate. Thank you. I will do it. Let's let the... the mower over there resume for a little while so they can leave a few more rows of space so they don't get stuck on each other again. But I can continue with this. Let's lower it. Now I can pull these two rows into one big pile.
J Dog redeemed stretch. Alright. Uh, I'm stretching. I'm doing it. Thank you. That grass isn't dried, so it's kind of keeping it separate. But looks okay enough. All right, let's see if we can resume this. Yeah. Worker going on that. This RTS shit. Alright. Now I can turn this around somehow for another row. Look, the piles of grass aren't even in draw distance. Because of how big this field is. There goes the choo-choo again. about to get stuck again, aren't they? Oh, look at they just barely went past each other. Perfect. Very nice. goes the mower. Look how much more of the field there is still. But, as opposed to getting $3,000, $1,000 for this, we will get $28,000, which will definitely be worth the while. Spread out dry hay looks so nice. I want to play in it. You will get a rash. You'll get ticks. These trees at the end are causing some problems for this spread out machinery. Now, what is that other one doing? That's about to have some trouble turning around. Mm, no trouble at all. Worth it. Ticks and rash on 90% of my body. <laughs>
Okay, I resume. Actually, let me go ahead and let the AI take over on this one, because now I can start bailing. With, uh... can use this tractor. Oh, shit. Hay is like snow. You're supposed to eat it. Maybe if you are a moo cow. I'm excited to use this big baler. Okay, here it is. Circle around. It's so sad that there's no horses in this game to eat your hay. Well, cheer up, because there are horses, and you can you can feed them hay. I haven't done any of that yet, but you can raise animals, and there's a whole other system of of animal things. Uh. Yeah, I have no pens or anything, but you can do that. There's, let's see. Animals, uh, feed them, give them bedding and water. Um, you need a livestock trailer to transport them. There are horses. Horses are trained and sold for, for, for a profit. For profit. When you buy a horse, it is given a name automatically. They're, they're also the only animals that become named. Uh, each horse has an individual fitness level. The higher the fitness level, the higher the value. Raise their fitness level by riding them. So you can, in fact, ride a horsey around. They don't, uh, there's no, like, slaughterhouse in the game, but you can sell the animal for a profit, and it goes somewhere else. <laughs> and who knows where it goes. It's... But anyway. Yes, uh, that's exactly what happens, Emily. Yep. Okay, let's so... Let's unfold the baler. Ooh. Let's lower the, the grass pickup on the front. Yep. It gets adopted as a pet. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's, yes, of course. That's, um... <clears throat> Don't worry about it. Change bale size? Uh... Do I want to do that? I guess it depends on what fits in that other trailer. Uh, I, I think I need to check what that other trailer is, and then I can... Here, wait, let me see if I can see it in the contract. No, it won't say. Um... Here, let's, uh... Okay, yeah, this is the this is the Arcusen FSX 63.72 is the name of the baler and it can do up to 100 up to 240 centimeter bales. So, this is 220. So, it's 
within... Okay, good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's get it going. Oh, and this one, you don't have to stop to deposit out the bale, because the bales just kind of slide out. And it's done. Uh-oh. Shoot. I'm not staying on track. I might come by, have to come back and pick up the excess, but it, it might also just be like, good enough. I want to get a certain percentage of it done. Yeah, see? There it goes. Out the back. So, this is nice because you don't have to stop every time there's a new bale. Oh, the AI workers got stuck again, looks like. Uh oh, yeah, look at that. Now, now, don't fight. Alright. Uh oh. Son of a bitch. Okay, there we go. AI worker is blocked by an object. Yep, oh. Now. Oh. This keeps happening. Uh oh. Here. Okay, I'm gonna leave this. this vehicle not being used for a minute. Uh oh, but here comes the wind rower. Alright, wait. You. stop. Right there. Okay. And. Now they're getting all jumbled. We'll just leave this one too for a minute. Like right here is where they stopped. About. Good enough, right here, okay. We'll just leave them here for a minute. And just not start them up until there's a little more room. And meanwhile, I will keep bailing.
keep missing a lot of it. The optimized bale shape. The 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 forums for this are just people arguing over bale shape. Probably I don't know. We're gaming, all right. <laughs> Let's check back in with the... These guys. Okay, there's a little more room now between the mower, so let's try this. Are the AIs okay? They have a little trouble. Okay, now we got the AI taken over on that one. Hmm. Now we'll wait a little while <coughs> to send the wind rower back out again. So they don't get stuck. I'm off track. Okay, there we go. Yes, I haven't said anything for like five minutes, it feels like. But it's just, uh. <coughs> it's that kind of game, I guess. 
what needs to be said? You see the you see what happens. What is happening? I'm enjoying driving the fun big vehicles around. Let's let the oh so let's say AI worker take over on... What? Why isn't it recognizing it? I guess I can't get the AIs to bail. That's weird. Well, let's get the windrower going again. Oh shit, hang on. Let's raise this up. No, up. Farming Simulator 2077, where you just program AI workers. <laughs> Alright, let's get this one going. Extending its mighty wings, like a dragon. AI on that one. Looks like this one and the mower are gonna crash into each other again soon, probably. I don't know Zactronics. Ever since I joked about growing weed, I've been imagining Grow Op Simulator 2023. It's coming. Entirely played in claustrophobic, suffocating indoors, of course. <laughs> Alright, I resume bailing. Your house is glowing on the infrared camera, Oofy. Zactronics makes all those games that are more like work than actual work. Probably heard of some of them. Base Chem, Infinifactory, Shenzhen IO, Opus Magnum. They also made Infiniminer, which not shamelessly ripped off to create Minecraft. I do know about Infiniminer because of that. I have not heard of any of the others though. I think the AI workers got stuck again. Yeah, they did. Now, okay. There we go. You two are gonna have to come to some kind of agreement. Here, wait. Look at all this, all these bales.
If you have big puzzle brain, you may enjoy them. I care. I like puzzles. I don't understand why you can't set the AI to do this. There are rows of grass. Maybe it just can't recognize that there are rows of grass to work on. But no, the... Oh, I don't know, whatever. It's fun to make the bales, so... I don't mind it too much. Almost done mowing! That mower is almost done mowing. Windrower is about to catch up with the tether, so let's get this going again. Okay. Bail pilled. <laughs> AI worker D has completed their task. Is that the mower? The mowing is mowed. It's done. Okay, cool. So now we can take this tractor and it can start a new job. Oh, shit, shit. Now let's fold this up out of the way. Look how coated in grass it is now. Alright. Oh, this one got stuck or something. Okay, we'll leave this here. And we'll back up a little bit. Hey, Ilya! Hello! How are you doing? I'm having fun driving big trucks around. Big tractors. This big machinery. Okay, now we attach this. Bale loader. And we'll drive it back around. <gasps> oh shit! I was I didn't have my eyes on the road. I was looking at my phone. Done with work and have dinner. Nice. <laughs> A nice big healthy dinner, I'm sure. Alright, so how does this work? Let's see. Operating position is B. Oh. Okay, and then it just has this little thing on the side. That's it. Okay. I'm gonna drive up to the bale. Yeah. 
Up it goes. <gasps> and it just slides down. Cool. Now can we set the AI to do this one? Nope, it won't. Doesn't understand this. So that's okay. Uh, oh, okay, you guys are in trouble here. Uh, let's see. Get the wind roar to back up a little bit. Oh, oh, we got these limited edition goldfish. I thought, man, I gotta tell, ask Amber about these. Have you seen them with Old Bay seasoning? I have not seen those here. That sounds pretty good. Knocked over the rear mower. Almost. They whip. They are spicy. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> I'll just finish these last few rows by myself. Wait a minute. Sometimes the AI gets a little confused when the field is a different shape. It's not just a square or something. Like this, this edge, they can get confused on that. Okay. There's the last line with the grass dryer offer. Tether. That's done. We can fold that up. Put it to the side. Look at it go. Very cool, the way they fold up. Now I can get this out of the way. Like that. And let's get this one going again. Get the AI on this one. And let's continue bailing. After this job is complete, we'll play Fork Knife.
She will fork the knight after forking the bales. Oh, this tree. Just barely got around that tree. Stretching. Almost done here. Coming down. Bail could. See, there's only a few more lines left.
Cool. Uh, now I gotta get the wind rower out of the way here. Time to fold this up. Get it out of the way. Just put it over here. Someone else's yard, so it's not in the way. And, uh, this one's probably fine. Okay, that's all of them. And then now we can just hit Y. Wait. Turn it off. And then, <coughs> yeah, Y will unload the baler. So there's a couple left in there. You just hit Y and it'll just drop them out. Then you're done. There's a little bit left in there, but that doesn't really matter. And there is some loose grass around, you know, on the ground that hasn't been totally bailed up. But thankfully, the game doesn't demand complete 100% uh, for this kind of thing. Like, if you get all, you know, the majority of it, it will count it as being done, which is good because it would be drive you up a wall to try to get every one of these little things, like, you know, cleaned up. Now we pick all our bales that we made up. Oh, look at... Oh, it just, just gets lifted up like that. That's cool. another one up and it slides it back that's cool see uh, this is definitely a lot easier than um, using those fucking forks to try to pick things up definitely also makes a lot more sense for a, a job of a larger scale
Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Had to wait for it to complete the lifting animation before it would pick up another bale. Almost full here, looks like. I think I can pick up two more. Or th two or two to four. I don't know if it'll let me keep two in the front. more or is this capacity doesn't that look satisfying all uh packed up like that okay it will refuse to pick up more so this is uh capacity <coughs> so transporting position there we go and then now where do we where do we take these they are little pigs in their blankets, yes. Take the bales to Johnson's Farmer's Market, which is up in the top left corner, the northwest corner of this map. So we're going to go this way. These are going to sell for a lot. This many of them? I've never done this many, and I've never done bales this large. Well, we won't get the direct profit from selling them, I guess, but we will make $28,000 for doing this job, which is the most I've gotten off one of these contracts before. Because that was huge. This is such a huge job, but it was fun. Cross the highway. There's another seat. You can have two people in here. Got a side saddle. Playing with the mouse and keyboard, so the steering, you know, is a little too sharp. But hey, whoa, watch where you're going. Anyway, here is the market. Let me drive over this thing. We just let him go. Uh, like this. Oh, like this? <gasps> no, no. Oh my god. 
Uh, <laughs> is that what I? Is that what I want? I think this is the right on the grate. No. No. Uh. Oh. Well, that's not quite uh, what I wanted to do. Uh, <laughs> there. Uh, shit. Look at this. Each of these is 426 kilograms. I don't know how much that is, but it's a lot. Anyway, I can't pick these up for sure. Oh, no, I thought this is where you sell them. Okay, well, this is a little bit of a problem. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, change of plans. Oh shit. At least I can do this. Make a couple passes in a circle. <gasps> oh shit, I almost crashed. The machine pickup device is insane, yeah, it really is. Okay. Shit. Okay. Well, at least I was able to get them back up relatively easily. But I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do now. Uh, hold on a sec.
Okay. Uh, let's see. Inconclusive answers here. This is this is hey. This is okay. So, what is going on, man? Take the bales to Johnson's Farmers Market. Yeah. Uh. Hang on. Okay. I think I'm supposed to place them. Hi, Turnip. Hi, Turnip Juice. How are you doing? Um, I think I have to place them on the left, the icon without the grate. I think the grate is for like loose material. towards that icon and unload here yes there they go there they go they're disappearing all right that was what it needed okay good That's good because I saw, I was looking at a number of like, searching for how do you sell bales at Johnson's Farmer's Market? And a lot of people going like, yeah, I glitched out, you can sell them. I was screwed, I couldn't finish the job or whatever. It's going good. Turn up. This is a fun game. I enjoy large machinery and being bored. All that's left is to pick up the remainder of the bales and transport them here. Alright, I'm gonna take the second right. Spent hours of the baby staring at excavators. Well, mm
Wow, you operated excavators as a baby? That's impressive. It would be. Insane machine, I know, right? It's so cool. Loads them up. The auto stack. It's got the roller on the side, it rolls the bale up. And then once there's two right there, it folds them up and pushes the stack back. Fucking tight. Especially satisfying after previously having to use just like the little fork loader on the front and back to manually try to pick up round bales, which was so, so difficult. This is like night and fucking day. Got to pick up three more. up. Fold that side thing in, and we're ready for the road. Nice grass. Thanks. Whoa, shit, I was not looking at the screen. Big fan of grass here. Tricking in you into driving your tractor into that field. <laughs> Tractors only see grass.
we are. There they go, disappearing. Oh shit, being sold. There they go. Whoop, whoop. Sixty-four percent done. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and set, <clears throat> let the computer drive the rest of the way there. And then I will pick up on it. Just to rest my hand for a second. Ugh. game keep running if I tab away? Oh, it will. Good. No sound, actually. There's autopilot, yeah. Oh, yeah, you missed before turn up where there's like four or five machines that I had running at the same time because you can set autopilot other workers, so it's like, yeah, you know, it's not just one person working on a farm. There's many people, so it kind of becomes like an RTS where you are Okay, you do this thing and you do this thing, setting your units or whatever. Yeah, it's really cool actually. Like, I did not expect that from this game at all. Definitely. But it's a very cool element of it. Many foxes, yes. <clears throat> okay, it looks like we're here. Now I'm taking control of the vehicle again. Excuse me. There are still so many bales. <clears throat> Pikmin style throw farmers at the machines to operate them. <laughs>
Excuse me. I got a Chivo. It's just the beginning. I've never felt happier than here is the name of the achievement. Okay. Oh, okay, that's full up. Time to head back. Which means time to, uh... Make the computer go back. Right here, pick the... The spot and the rotation. For them to be facing, and then they just go. Are they going? Hello? There they go. Took a second. Had to think about it. Going the long way. Where are you going? Better take a right. Okay, good. Oh, yes! <clears throat> this would be faster, definitely, with more than one of these machines, but... I was only given one for this contract. For the term, for the, just the period of this uh, work. It's very comfy, yes. I think so too. It's very, um, just uh, calming. Very aggressively slow paced. In a good way. I play with my fingerboard while I wait for the truck to get to its destination. I do pop shoves on the table. She does pop shoves on the table. Farming and skating. Both of which require very different terrain. That you can probably hear. I was skating on my big mouse pad, but then I... Put it on the table. Skating on the mouse pad is quieter, but... Uh, it makes more sense to do it on a hard surface, you know? Ooh, that was good. Oh. Yo, that was good. I can do pop shoves and ollies on fingerboard and fakey varial heels somehow came to me. And that's it. God, I wish I could see this right now. That'll be my that'll be my uh my glove stream. Is uh, I'm doing I'm fingerboarding. <laughs> Paw cam, please. <laughs> I have a couple, I have a little ramp, and I have a little uh, concrete curb made of real concrete. And uh, yeah, and I have a little fingerboard. It's not, I, I started, I got a tech deck, and then. Eventually, I got a 
slightly better fingerboard that's actually made of wood instead of plastic and um, has soft rubber grip tape instead of painful sandpaper grip tape. Because sandpaper grip tape makes sense for a real skateboard, but on a fingerboard, it is kind of just torture. There's no reason to do that. So it's rubber grip tape that is, um, it's neoprene. So basically what like wetsuits or like your mouse pad is probably made out of, which makes a lot more sense. It's a lot more comfortable and it does the job of grip tape. It grips. There they go. That's so funny that they just disappear like that. That's so funny. 97% transported. We're almost done. And then we can play Fortnite. We have to do our, our chores first. And then we can play Fortnite and have cola. Let me set this to drive back. That's what grass does, colliding with ground, yes. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Sometime I do want to still stream uh, SNES games. Like, I have a bunch that I have have lined up, and I want to just do a stream where I go through, and I just try them, and I just put them in, and just try out random carts that, you know, I haven't played before, which is most of them. <clears throat> um, yeah. I had capture card issues, yeah. Because uh, I okay, I don't know what happened because I I was going to play Pac-Man on a cart um, and the, the sound was working and the sound was coming through and then it was not. And I have no idea why it was not. And I just haven't really had time to test it. Or I haven't really set aside time to test it and figure out what the problem is. Um, because it was working. And then it just stopped right when I was trying to stream. So, I don't know. Uh, I'll figure that out. Because I have done... Um, so, something what what did I play that was on the PS2 uh, that I used the same Elgato thing let me know if I can be of any help rubber duck debugging it though I am not a capture card expert Emily what the fuck is rubber duck debugging what do you mean please ex please explain to me what is rubber duck re debugging I don't get it. <laughs> what reduct debugging is when you talk to your teddy bear about your problems. Oh, well, I know how to do that. Basically talking it through. Okay. Okay, well, that would be really helpful, actually. Yes, I would. That would be great. Oh, we're at our destination.
Oh yeah. Um the audio does work coming out the TV. That's not that 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 much is fine. But thank you, Emily. I will do that and DM you for your for your wonderful assistance. Thank you very much. That would be very helpful because it's annoying and I I'm just making wild guesses myself. So Thank you. Okay, that's full up. And now I can drive it back <coughs> to the place where, where it is that we sell it at, and then that's it. This is probably enough to finish it, even though we didn't get quite all of the bales off of the field. It said like 91%, so this is probably enough to get it done. Good music for picking up hay bales, yeah, it's a little bit wacky silly, isn't it? What I don't know. What is this even music for? I didn't play the I didn't play the GameCube Animal Crossing, so I don't know what this is from exactly. Oh, this is Happy New Year, okay. Well I'm skipping it. I'm skipping it. Skipping it. Yeah, okay. almost complete and then we will play Fortnite for like two rounds and then that's it that's pretty much all I usually when I play that's kind of it like that's I have enough energy for two and then I'm like okay I'm, I'm good I'm good we like Fortnite we like we like mowers Never seen a full round of Fortnite yet? Pog. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoy it. I hope I do as well as I did last time. And also, like, yeah, if I do if I do more than a couple, it's hard to stay sharp for more than a few rounds. It's it's so in it's intense. Well, at least the way I play. After playing this uh soothing mowing hay stream, and we're gonna throw all that in the toilet and get fucking keyed up from playing Fortnite.
contract on field 71 finished. Wow, so we gained 17,000 something just on selling the bales. I guess we get money for that. And then we also get to complete the contract, right? And get the payment, which is another like 30 grand. So now we, that's a lot of money. Wonderful. And then the, and then the um, tractor disappears because it was, it was a, a rental. It was loner. It was a loner. I love that it bails out the stacks vertically. It, it, vertically. Yeah, it's so fun watching that. Okay, now we'll save the game. And fucking quit. That was good. I really enjoy this. It was a summon tractor, like Elden Ring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, now we're switching to Fortnite, and I make a little notification about it. 